Mm-hmm. Wow. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo this hurt you call when you walk out door and walk down my life. Uncry these tears. I'll cry so many nights. Unbreak my heart. My moments that were goodbye. Bring back joy to my life. Oh, I can't go no more. Good morning. That's my favorite song, Tony. I love the way you sing it. Um. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Y'all, I don't really know what's going on. Milwaukee has been in the news an awful lot in the last week. Um, and I'm trying to, you know, I like to lead, look up under things. I don't know what the conspiracy, I don't know what the what this is signifying for us up here in the Midwest. But I do know it's really weird that in the last couple of weeks, Milwaukee has been associated with some real, real true, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't, let's see. I can't even say what it is. And, and unless the lot of time passed, well, some real true tried and true fuckery. I don't understand what is going on in Milwaukee and with, I just don't get it. Cause now a Milwaukee man is facing charges after being stopped by a member of a security for Chicago's mayor. Chicago police found a pair of handguns with laser sight attachment, a silencer, and metal piercing bullets. This is not the weapon you carry um, for personal protection, said retired Deputy U.S. Marshal Ed Farrell. This is the kind of weaponry you want when you want to go to war. And you looking to inflict the maximum amount of damage. Do you hear what I said? Now, like I told you, I believe that Milwaukee and Chicago are going to have to merge in a minute because they're too close. Kind of be like Minneapolis, St. Paul. But anyway, this is crazy. Because I don't know why you would go after somebody in Mayor Lori Light for security. Because, <laughs> I mean, in that, because it's enough people here in Milwaukee that if you was going to be running around with that, never mind. Don't. <laughs> I don't know why you had to go over there and try to threaten uh, Lori Lightfoot. What's up with that? Anyway, sources tell ABC7 Chicago that the mayor's security detail was parked right outside the Shake Shack. Lightfoot had just left a celebration honoring former Chicago mayor Harold Washington and stopped at a restaurant on the top floor of the Chicago Athletic Association, which is right next door. Uh, police arrested another Milwaukee man that was with him, but that man is not facing any charges. Broadway is facing two felony charges, and they are weapon charges. He was released from custody after his aunt posted a $1,500 bail. Um, now, we don't understand. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. So, the woman posted his bail. Um, they don't have any idea why he would even be looking for Chicago's mayor, but that's what he was doing. So here's how ABC, uh, yeah, news reported it. 
out of Milwaukee, W-I-S-N. Just three words. Yeah. Tell you everything you need to know. They tell you why we employ a member of the Chicago mayor security detail is being praised after he stopped a Milwaukee man from carrying out a potential mass shooting. But that man was released from custody after his aunt paid a fifteen hundred dollar bail. It happened Tuesday evening. Mayor Lori Lightfoot made a stop at Shake Shack. Sources told ABC seven in Chicago that a member of her security detail noticed the man had an outline of a gun in a bag. Police arrested 21 year old Troy Beyond Broadway. According to court documents, police recovered two Glock semi-automatic handguns from inside the suspect's vehicle. Both weapons had an extended magazine and laser sight attachment. This is not the type of weapon you carry for personal protection. This is the type of weapon you go to war with and you're looking to inflict maximum damage. Broadway is also charged with possessing a silencer and metal piercing bullets, both considered military-grade weaponry. Y'all hear that? So now I guess the black people get ready. We're going to get our chance of running the muck up in this crazy place, huh? Um, make Somebody was just arrested, a young man, for throwing um, firecrackers. There's three of them, actually, throwing firecrackers at law enforcement, police officers, while they were down trying to man that parade. I think right before that parade, the Bucks parade, I don't know. But they just got sentenced. And the guy, of course, they kids, and I don't want to do nothing but snitch on everybody. And that's what kids do. Grown ups do it too, but kids really going to do it quick. And they told right away that they got it from this older guy, 51, and he had a whole lot of pipe bombs in his basement. And he was arrested for that. I'm like, what is going on? Is this where the next mad place is going to be? Y'all take notice now. Because, um, oh, and uh, um, let me say another thing. If this is an indication of what y'all are, uh, an example of what you've learned in the military, and this is what you are using it for, I hope you rethink um I, I really do. I hope you rethink your thought process. That's all I want to say with that. Okay? Now, with that being said, uh, if you like what you hear, please like, please subscribe, please share the channel. I thank y'all for being out there, each and every one of you. I want to give y'all a, a shout out. Um, Yanni, Tommy, uh, 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 Day Bay, uh, Mad Hat Doctor. We got a few new subscribers too, also, and I'd like to welcome them to the channel and thank them for being out there as well. So, uh, Shaka Zulu, I'm gonna make sure I give you the respect you deserve. Um, thank y'all. Thank you so much for. Supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. You just don't know. Uh, after a while, you'd be like, "Am I, you know, am I doing this not so much for uh, the monetary, but because I mean that's good. I, I don't get me wrong. I want the monetary um, part of it, but the main thing is I want to know if I'm reaching anybody or if anybody is getting anything out of the um, uh, vlogs that I make. And so if they're not then, of course, as a creator, you're not feeling that you're reaching the um, mark and you're not good. You're not doing um, you're not going hard enough, as they say. Um, there is somebody out there that needs this message. And I know it because. You, you, you know, the the subscribers that I have allowed me to understand and let me know that some of y'all share. So I'm never alone, even in, in the madness. Um, and some of y'all think and have experienced the same thing, especially when we talk about stuff like high conflict individuals. I hate to use the word narcissist because it's to me is so much overused now. People are calling anybody a damn narcissist. And I'm like, wait a minute. You know, this th it, these things are on a continuum. Okay. 
you know, you can't tell me um, a Mussolini type of mar narcissist is the is 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 the same thing as your gar uh, garden variety snake. I mean, come on. But what I'm saying is, there's a lot of us on that journey to healing, and I appreciate y'all being out there and sharing with me some of your experiences. I am um, in the process of um, interviewing and hoping to bring that to y'all. Uh, what is uh, Helena Moore? Um, and she's an author that, I, in my opinion, writes stuff that speaks to the soul in a different way. Oh, and you have to have courage in order to exploit those things about yourself. But it, it, are, it is those things that allow you to grow. So what I've noticed is that um, uh, uh, I've been reading her books and I've been seeing the information that she's been sharing with her book. And I'm sure a lot of y'all have been through some of these things, you know, it's like molestation. And a lot of y'all say, well, why? Why y'all always want to talk about that? Because just as well as I did that video about men and how important they can be in their daughter's lives, I think it's even more um, important that I let you know what it looks like when that goes wrong. And when that goes wrong, you know, you can have people that you trust, whether they be a father, stepfather, um, a friend. And those same men that you look up to for some guidance or some help may be your biggest molesters or your rapists. So I thought that um, some of the experiences... Um, that she's gone through good and bad, being the mother, being, um, it's something that, um, I wanted to talk about and to get y'all to support if you like poetry, if you like writing. Um, and I think, believe she's out of, she's on the East Coast. But I'm, I'm trying to put that together for y'all right now. And, um, you know, hopefully we can do that real soon. Okay. So I'm not gonna ramble on. Hey, Tyrone Bowman, um, path, life path, and, uh, all of y'all. I see y'all. Okay, thank you for joining the channel. Thank you for being out there. Thank you for listening, Sneaker, uh, Telly, all of y'all. Um, have a wonderful day. Um, and be blessed. I'll see y'all in the next video.